my name is called Stephanie Otino. My student ID number is 1056043. And today I'm going to be talking about the human rights of people with disability. In my introduction, I am basically going to be talking about what are the human rights and the legislations for people with disabilities, the civil government obligations to people with disability, the legal consequences for cases of failures the measures taken by the Australian government to implement the human rights, the complexity of granting human rights of people with disability, my conclusion and my references. In my first slide, what is the definition of human rights? What's the meaning of human rights? So human rights are the rights inherent to human beings, regardless of their sex, their race, nationality, ethnicity, language, religion, the age, disability, or any other status. Human rights include the rights to life, liberty, freedom of expression, and equality before the law. Every country has a national plan for the rights of people with disability. According to the Disability Discrimination Act, is a great example of what people with disability see as their rights. This is a part of the act which says no one should be discriminated against because of something in the past, including the disability. It is also meant to provide information on the integrations of people with disability in society, as well as how it spreads barriers and difficulties faced by people with disability. It is meant to be a resource for those who might be interested in interrogating people with disabilities into society, as well as those who have no experience or knowledge about such integrations. My next topic is the legislations with the people with disability. People with disability, despite, despite these legislations and agreements, are one group whose human rights are frequently violated, Chanli 2021. Persons with disability, according to the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Persons with Disability, the UR, UNCRPD, are people who have intognitis neuri, mental, physical, or intellectual inter impairment that may obstruct their effective and equal participation, society in comprehensions to others, the United Nations 2006. The convention admits to preserve and enhance these people's rights, Hamar ETL 2009. The Convention of the Rights of the Persons with Disability, the CRPD, is an international human rights trinity that outlaws discriminations against people with disability. The CRPD was adopted by 144 countries in 2006 and it provides a comprehensive set of civic, political, economical, social, cultural rights to people living with disabilities around the world. The objective of the Convention is to promote protect and to ensure full enjoyment of all human rights by passing with disabilities, including through pro prohibiting discriminations on the basics of human rights. What are the obligations of Australian government in disability rights protection? By, retail, by redefining the CRPD, Australian agrees to recognize that people with disabilities have legal capacity on an equal footing with, with others in the absence of life and to take appropriate measures to ensure that people with disabilities have passes to support may need to exercise their legal capacity. All measures linked to the exercises of legal competencies must also include adequate and effective safeguards to prevent abuse. Examples that the Australian government have given to people with disability. 
the rights of education as the state parties recognize the rights of person with disabilities to education with a view of realizing the rights without discrimination and on the basis of equal opportunities state parties shall ensure all exclusive educational system at all levels and lifelong learning directed to it also enables persons with disabilities to learn life and social development skills to facilitate their full and equal participation in education as a member of the community. Example, example as facilitating learning and sign languages as the promotion of literacy identity of deaf community. Here I have more examples as what the Australian government has done. They have also provided persons with disability with the same range, quality and standards of free or affordable healthcare and programs as provided to other persons, including the area of sexual and productivity health for population-based public health programs. They have also provided persons with disabilities with the same range, equality standards of free or affordable health care and programs as provided to other persons, including areas of sexual, reproductive, health and population-based public health programs. What they have also done, they have also done um, recognizing the rights of the person with disability to work on an equal basis with other people. This includes right of opportunity to gain living by freely working and choosing or being accepted in the labor marketing and working environment that is open, inclusive, and accessible to persons with disabilities. It also, it protects the rights of persons with disability on an equal basis with others to just and a favorable conditions of work, including equal opportunities, equal resources for work of equal values, safe and healthy working condition, including promotion from harassment and the, the readiness of grievances. My next topic is going to be the failures of the Australian government in disability rights protections. Despite being signatory to the United Nations Convention of the Rights of Persons with Disability, the URCRPD, questions have been made about Australian co compliance with the Convention obligations. Evans are 2012. The Committee on the Rights of Persons with Disability is an independent agency that monitors members, nationals, agencies to the UN conventions on the, con on the rights of the persons with disability. Standing Law 2010, the community explained Australian implementation of the convention and issued a report September 2013 dealing with the increases is found in the government efforts to make the convention communities the OHCHR 2013. One of the issues presented concerns the Article 14 of the agreement which deals with personal liberty and security the committee expressed its worry for people with disability who have held for long periods of time in excess of maximum permissible sentence for the charged offense because they are found incompetent to stand trial due to the psychological or intellectual handicaps. The OHCHR 2013. This behavior is a violation of disabled people's rights. Good, Gooding at all, 2017. Another cause of worry was the high rate recorded the violent acts against girls and women in institutions 
in this case, the state has failed to fulfill the commitment under the Convention to Protect People with Disabilities from Abuse, Assault, and Exploitation, the OHCHR 2013. A recent investigation by the Swellen Senatory Community, Community on neglect, abuse, and violence to its handicapped person in residential and institutional settings showed that there were numerous instances of abuse and violence against disabled individuals. What are the complexities of human rights and people with disability? What are they? Almost everyone suffers trials and tribulation at some point in their life. Barriers to others' hands can be more frequent and have high in impacts for people with implementation. Barriers, according to the World Health Organization, WHO, are more than just physical obstruction. The WHO defines barriers as follows. The factors the person surrounding to limit their functioning and cause disability due to their absence or presence. These include things like a physical inaccessibility environment, a lack of irrelevant accessibility technology, assistive, additive, and rehabilitative devices, negative attitude towards disability, services, systems, and policies that either non exist or obstruct the participants of other people with health conditions in all aspects in life. Examples of the barriers are the physical barriers, attitudinal barriers, which is people with disability, uh, people tend to stereotype them uh, like having lack of understanding in different ways. So they judge them, they ignore them. That's the meaning of Australia barriers, we have policies barriers, we have technological barriers, we have the social barriers, we have the transportational barriers. In my conclusion, I have found that about human rights people with disability is that they are different from rights of people without disability because they need extra assistance in order to protect themselves. But though this is no violation, it is still a harm to another person and it should be prohibited by law. People with disability are vulnerable and many rights are violated against them every day. This creates disabled people into dependent ones, making society educated on how to treat them properly. But many people still do not know what they are doing wrong or care anyways. So these violations continues to occur. These are all my references and I just want to say thank you for listening to my recording and I am going to just stop showing my screen and I'm going to stop my recording. Thank you.